Hey friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thanks for joining. My name is Brandy. Some of you may know me as Live With Bib on Instagram. I do also have a blog at livewithbib.com. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos. All right, you guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Orly Spring 2022 collection, finally. <laughs> I have had this collection for a while. I actually got it with the Orly Color Pass, so I did pay for this with my own money. There are six polishes in this collection, and they are all beautiful spring pastels. Beyond Polish does not have this collection yet, but if you wanna go to the website, you can let them know that you want an email when the collection is available. And as always, I will be sharing any compolish <laughs> polishes <laughs> and as always I will be sharing any comparison polishes that are available at Beyond Polish I will put an asterisk next to any polishes that are available there and you guys already know I have a discount code for 10% off it's an affiliate code with Beyond Polish it's BIV10 so BIV10 you already also know that I totally appreciate you guys for using that code so thank you but without further ado let's get to the polishes Okay, you guys, so first up we have Dance With Me, spelled with an S. The description for this one says, slip on your ballet shoes and dance with me. This pastel peachy cream will be your new go-to for an opaque soft pink manicure. This is a three-coater. I did three coats here in the live swatch, three coats in the swatch picture. I will let you know you could wear it in two coats, but I feel like it was just a tad bit streaky. This polish is absolutely gorgeous, and I love how soft it is. You can see the swatch picture. Here we have it in outdoor lighting, and then here we have it in indoor lighting. And moving right along to comparisons, here we have Essie Vine and Dandy, Essie Hostess with the Mostest, and OPI Machu Picchu, so you can see how those compare. Next up, we have OPI Nature Strong, Let Nature Take Its Quartz, we Canyon Do Better and A Clay in the Life, so you can see how those three Nature Strong polishes compare. Next up, we have Essie High Class Affair, Essie Gel Couture, Couture Curator, and Essie Set in Sandstone. And then moving right along, here we have Essie Van de Gogh, Essie Excuse Me Sir, and Essie Around the Bend, so you can see how those compare. And last but not least, we have Olive and June, Wild and Free, OPI, Susie is my avatar from their new Xbox collection, and SE Spring Awakening from the Spring 2022 collection by Essie. I do have reviews up of both the OPI Xbox collection and the SE Spring collection if you guys are interested. And then next up here we have Artist Garden. The description for this one says, this pastel earthy green is inspired by lush foliage and European gardens. And this is a gorgeous green. This is another two to three coater. I did three coats in the live swatch, three coats in the swatch picture. In the swatch picture here you can see what it looks like in outdoor lighting, but not in direct sunlight. And then here we have it in indoor lighting so you can see how it looks in different lighting. And you guys, I really like this green. It's just a perfect muted pastel green. And then comparisons. Here we have OPI, the pass is always greener from their new Xbox collection. OPI, this isn't Greenland and Olive and June Energize. And then next up we have Essie Win Me Over, Essie Natural Connection from their Swoon in the Lagoon collection. I do have a review of that collection up if you're interested. And then Essie Gel Couture Totally Plaid, and you can see how those compare. And then next up we have Essie Cacti on the prize, Essie Gel Couture Sage You Love Me, and I will also let you know that like Bring Down the House, Just for Kicks, Maximilian Strasser, all of those are kind of more blue. And then Essie Belief in Yourself, so you can see how those compare. Okay, next up we have Golden Afternoon, and this is a gorgeous golden yellow. This is a two to three coater. I did two in the live swatch, two in the swatch picture. And then here you can see how it compares in indoor lighting versus outdoor lighting. Moving right along to comparisons. Here we have Essie, you know the Espadrille, Essie All or Nothing, and OPI Marigold and Hour, so you can see how those compare. And then here we have China Glaze Autumn's Up, Orly Here Comes the Sun, and Essie Buzzworthy Bash from their Hostess with the Mostest collection. 
I do also have a review on that collection coming live to you from Charleston. <laughs> All right, and then next up here we have Essie Centerpiece of Attention, also from the Hostess with the Mostess collection. Essie All Fun and Games and Essie Hey There, so you can see how those compare. Okay, and moving right along, here we have Province at Dusk. The description for this one says, this lilac cream will have you dreaming of lavender fields throughout France. And this is my fave from the collection. Actually, this one and Blue Iris <laughs> coming up next. So this is a two-coater and it has the most perfect formula ever. I did show you here um, what it looks like in indoor lighting and what it looks like in outdoor lighting. And moving right along to comparisons, here we have OPI Purple Palazzo Pants, OPI Achievement Unlocked from their new Xbox collection, and Olive and June Fierce and Loving. Next up, we have OPI You're Such a Budapest, OPI Don't Toot My Flute, and OPI Polly Want a Lacquer, so you can see how those compare. And then here we have OPI Nature Strong Spring Into Action, Essie Lilacism, and Essie Run Wildflower from their new Movin' and Groovin' collection, which I do have a review of that collection up if you're interested. All right, and next up, my other favorite from this collection is Blue Iris. This is an absolutely gorgeous two-coater. The description for this one says, make an impression with a color as iconic as its namesake. This pastel cornflower blue is the ultimate spring statement shade, and I totally agree with that. Here you see it in indoor lighting and outdoor lighting. And then moving right along to comparisons, here we have Essie Expressi Skate with Destiny, Essie Bikini Sotini, and Essie Ripple Reflect. And then next up we have China Glaze, Surfside Skies, OPI Can't Control Me, and Olive and June Boost, so you can see how those compare. And then last but not least, here we have it compared to You Do Blue by Essie, so you can see how those compare. Last but not least, this is my least favorite because I don't love these colors. This is Parks and Parasols. The description for this one says, Subtle but luxurious, this soft rosy brown cream is a shade you'll keep coming back to for an understated but polished mani. And then here you can see what it looks like in indoor lighting versus outdoor lighting. And moving right along to comparisons. Here we have Essie Sorrento Yourself. Essie Clothing Optional and Essie Rooting For You, so you can see how those compare. And then last but not least, we have Essie Respond With A Kiss from their Valentine's Day collection, OPI I'm An Extra, and Essie Expressi Remote Friends, so you can see how those compare. All right guys, so what did you think of this collection? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I will see you soon <laughs> with more Polish collections. I do need to review the Zoya Natural 5 collection, so if you have any comparison requests to that collection, let me know. Otherwise, I may not do any comparisons, so let me know. All right guys, hope you guys all have an absolutely amazing week. Love you all, bye.